After months of campaigning, now voters get to have their say. Early voting began today statewide in Tennessee. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pepper Baker. And I'm Richard Ransom. 26 polling locations are open across Shelby County with Election Day looming just a few weeks away. And many of those locations were quite busy today. Here's a look at one of them. This is the Second Baptist Church in East Memphis off of Walnut Grove Road. There was a line out of the door when early voting started at 11 a.m. Tennessee Secretary of State Trey Hargett tells ABC 24 voter turnout has been a lot higher than expected throughout the state, especially here in Shelby County. We're hearing that there's a heavy turnout already this morning, a lot of locations. That's exciting to us. You know, we want every registered Tennessean to go cast their vote because when you don't go cast your vote, what you're doing is you're turning over the keys of power of government to those that do. The Shelby County Election Commission says, yes, lines are long, but they are moving. However, early voting locations in the city of Memphis are taking at least a minute longer for each voter because of those six referendums the voters have to decide on. Early voting in Tennessee lasts until October 31st. Now you can hit the polls Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you want to vote absentee, those ballots must be requested by October 29th. That absentee ballot deadline also applies to Arkansas voters. In Mississippi, the deadline is November 4th. Arkansans will start voting early on Monday, October 21st, and until November 4th, Mississippi does not have early voting. Before you hit the polls, let's take a closer look at some of those referendums Memphis voters are deciding. The three gun referendums on the ballot deal with requiring permits for handguns, banning assault rifles, and creating a red flag ordinance. There are also ballot issues dealing with residency requirements for city council and mayor, whether city council members should decide their own salaries, and establishing runoff elections when Memphis elects new mayors. For a sample ballot, just go to abc24.com now.